Top universities around the world are rushing to bring AI into their classrooms. I've just asked Chancellor Richard Lyons how UC Berkeley is leading this change. Yeah, well, AI is affecting everything the university does, not just in the U.S., but in Taiwan and everywhere around the world. It helps me to understand what my faculty colleagues in adjacent fields are doing. I can have conversations with them much more quickly and much more deeply. But AI integration is just one piece of the puzzle. Universities are also reimagining their economic models to survive in today's competitive landscape. One of the things that we launched several years ago, and now we're launching more of them, we have, um, we have a very large incubator that's a science incubator. And this is economic activity and scientific activity that used to take place outside the boundary of the university. Now it's taking place inside the boundary of the university. That's quite a profound change, actually. But these challenges go far beyond one campus. Global research partnerships now face new obstacles in our digital age. Another key question, how will student exchanges with schools in Taiwan and Asia evolve? Yeah, the, the connectivity through exchanges, academic or among our students, educational. It's, it's really fundamental to what Berkeley is. Berkeley has always been a track, an attractor for talent globally, whether it's faculty or students. And we want to stay connected to the, global, the globe, Taiwan included, with, with sending faculty here and students here. But I promise you that as an international economist and as an internationalist myself, we're going to keep Berkeley open and connected to the world. This commitment to openness extends to Berkeley's approach to excellence. What separates world-class institutions from the rest? Well, you know, the, the Nobel quality work, the kind of fundamental field-changing research that so many scholars at Berkeley, thankfully, are doing, I think a lot of that actually is, is cultural. And at Berkeley, that's not the way it works. The idea is if you've had one enormous breakthrough, if you've taught the whole profession something, we're going to give you tenure, we're going to give you job security. As Berkeley's first graduate turned chancellor, Lyons brings a unique insider's view. His insights could reshape how universities prepare students for an AI-powered world. This is Dimitri Vyas in Taipei for TVBS World Taiwan.